Now let's come to a story both closer to and further from home. India and its space sector. A new report is out. It says India's space industry could hit $100 billion by 2040. $100 billion. It's a staggering number. It would have been inconceivable some 50 years ago. That's when India's space journey began in the year 1969. India grew, beating all expectations. The more the world visited, the higher it aimed. Today, India's space industry is growing twice as fast as the rest of the world, and it's using this growth for global good. Our next report tells you more. Three, two, one, zero. What do you think of when you hear the term India's space sector? Perhaps the Indian Space Research Organization, also known as ISRO. Maybe you think of ISRO's recent Chandrayaan-3 lunar mission that's trying to land on the south side of the moon as we speak? Or perhaps the regular satellite launches from Indian installations, often for other nations. Since 1999, India has launched 381 satellites for 34 countries, and that has brought in about $279 million. So India has been making a name for itself in the commercial space race. Both the scientific and commercial Indian space ventures have been growing by leaps and bounds. And the commercial in particular is gaining global recognition. A report has just been released by Arthur D. Little. It's a consultancy firm headquartered in Belgium, and it predicts phenomenal growth in India's space industry. The report says India's space sector could reach revenues of $100 billion by 2040. That's the best case scenario. At the very least, the space sector could bring in $40 billion annually by the end of the next decade. These are very encouraging numbers. India's space industry generates about $8 billion in revenue at present. So, it is predicted to grow anywhere between 5 to 12 and a half times in the next 18 years. That's a minimum prediction of five-fold growth, going up to 12 and a half times. It's far ahead of the rest of the world. At the very least, India's space sector is expected to grow at twice the global average, which it's already doing. India's space sector currently grows at about 4% annually, compared to the world average of 2%. So, the country is already outperforming the world. If it just stays on its present course, India's space sector should hit $40 billion by 2040. But in order to max out its growth, India needs to change a few things. According to Arthur D. Little, to hit $100 billion in space revenue, India can do the following things. Enact clear and comprehensive space regulations. Strengthen space equipment manufacturing capabilities. Encourage foreign investments in satellite facilities. Use production-linked incentives to become a satellite manufacturing hub. Collaborate with international companies through joint ventures and acquisitions. Support early-stage space startups. And build a skilled workforce to work in the space sector. It's a lot of work. But India seems keen to put in the effort to modernize. The Indian space sector is already opening up to privatization. Earlier this month, India began a bidding process for the manufacturing and development of the SSLV rocket program. SSLV stands for Small Satellite Launch Vehicle. These are relatively low-cost rockets that can be used to launch lightweight satellites. They were designed by ISRO and will eventually be made by private companies. So far, 20 firms have reportedly expressed interest in the SSLV manufacturing deal, which means the move to the next stage of India's space industry is underway. The country's space sector has come a long way since its humble beginnings in 1969. Back then, the world didn't believe India could do it. After all, India was a country with tremendous poverty. It was always extremely talented, blessed with some of the best scientific minds, People like Vikram Sarabhai, Homi J. Bhabha and APJ Abdul Kalam, among a host of others. But despite this, no one thought India could fulfill its lofty dreams. And so, no nation really offered to help. Fast forward to about 50 years later and we get this Arthur D. Little report. Now this is just one report 
and India still has a lot to do to achieve its goals. But finally, it seems the world is waking up to its immense potential.